Hey, how we doing guys? This is MediaBoxyNT.com and today we've been on some cool 3D printer. Now this is the Ender 3. I'm going to show you how the whole thing works. We're going to put this together and we do some cool 3D printer now. How we doing everyone? Once again, I'm Dario from MediaBoxNT.com and today I want to bring you some cool 3D printer. So today we bring you the Ender 3 and this one I'm going to show you the configuration. It's pretty simple, calibration, right? And a few things we can print and what we get with this Ender 3 package. And one of the things we need to do is put it together. It takes about 40 minutes. So a few things we need to put together is a transformer, the sides bar, the top and the whole and 3D printed head of this bar. They talk about the whole thing in 40 minutes. The instructions are pretty clear how to do this. Now, a few things on this. Remember, this uh, Ender 3 is an open source. We'll allow you to put all kinds of add-ons. There is uh, things you can connect with the Raspberry Pi and control it through the web. It's a big community because it's an open source system. I want to make it real nice. It's pretty much quiet. I work with a few of these type of printer, and I will say this is pretty quiet and the fans are not loud. I have other ones, the fan was pretty loud when it's printing. And you got the benefits too, you have the extruder here, so automatic feed, right, from the three printer, auto, automatic feeds through the extruder, what it makes that easy. And I have other ones that the uh, PL or the actual filament will get stuck. So this one, you will have that problem uh, because the way the system, the extruder works. And uh, all right, so what we get, with the Ender 3. All right, so you get all the Allen keys and all the parts, right? So when you're gonna put this together, it has all the keys here. You get the full and uh, manual in a different language how to put that together step by step. You have extra parts and even extruders and in, in different in, uh, extra heads. And filament wise, it's not much really it doesn't even work to do anything with this it's just it's there i would recommend to get a get a new roll because this you cannot do much about that and then the full instruction in this case that will be the part of the software how to store that also comes with the thumb drive where it comes with a few samples and also and some models there and also what you get to and you get the installation of the software for UPC. That way you can load any model, right? And convert it and exchange it to work with this printer. And it will tell you then when you load up, how long it's gonna to take to print and how many grams. You measure this in grams. So remember this roll is about 2.2 uh, pounds. It's a kilo, so it will tell you 20 grams, 30 grams. So you have an idea, you know, how much is gonna be used out of the roll. Besides that, you get the spatula too. So you get this too. And also even you got the cutters here, you got, you know, to cut the filament. So these are all the things. A few things we can print out with this. And I give you an example. We did this cool. We use a different type of filament. And, but that's what we have here. Huh? This using the same type of filament. Pretty nice details into this. Or this again on this type of filament, multicolor filament. All right, it looks pretty cool on this guy. So, and as to what we did, we print actually this nice cool piggy. Now the piggy is another test, there are a few test models like Da Vinci, the little ship. And we did print this, so cool, right? Even you can put some coins there. Took about six, seven hours to print this. And it depends on the model, depends if it's solid or depends on the details. It you know, can take a few hours to seven hours from like many hours, right? Depends how big the project is. Remember that on the size of this, we can print 200 by 200 by 250 millimeter. It's an open source system. And also another thing too, if the power gets cut off, it will, you can resume. Very important because it, it happened, it can get power get cut off, or maybe you can either shut it down and print it later on. So this will memorize and knows when it gets shut down. So now when you restart it back again, it will say you want to resume printer. At least if you didn't move anything, if you didn't move the positions of anything, it will resume whatever you left off. It's pretty quiet. And the calibration is pretty simple. So what we're gonna do now, I'll, I'll show you the screen right now. So at this point, so a few information here, they give me the XYZ, temperature wise, temperature of the head, temperature of the bed. 
and uh, so let's check now here and we're gonna go go and prepare this is the only thing you have to do when you get this you're gonna go ahead and order home set order home get one of this uh paper down so let's let me go back again because i want to use the, the paper all right and when it says to order home what are you going to do in this case i i tend to shut it off so i can move i can move the bed because the bed right now if not it's not going to move so what are you going to do here and you got adjustments in each corner okay that little wheel so what are you going to do first put the paper and see this was i will have to lose this a little bit but make sure that it's not too loose or either you're ripping the paper out with the head okay then what do you do you just go and then you're going to move this out see i got to calibrate it later on i'm going to move here and i'm going to repeat i'm going to repeat the same process here i'm going to change here and i'm going to going to adjust it right from there then i'm going to put the bed all the way to the back see it's already marking the paper that's no good so i check it so this side is perfect you see here it's a scratch a little bit but enough see here is good from is not good so let me go here now Let's check here and here yeah maybe maybe just loose a little tiny bit here so yeah that's too tight so let me loose a little bit all right and that seems to be perfect and then go here and then push this and, and check the metal see this is not good so what happened i have to lose this a little bit so you're going to repeat that as many times as necessary one is done it's done just you, you finish maybe you check that time to time because what happened if that part is not kind of really good to what's going to happen either your project will come off or the head will get the part and then you see you come back later on and the whole thing is just like crazy everywhere and what what actually make this thing will come off out of out of the bed out of the bed too and make sure you set the temperature of that so let's turn it on so once again comes what again uh, comes with the time drive with all the info there so Let's go here, and the first thing we're gonna do now, we're gonna go and uh, control. So I'm gonna go into temperature. Temperature, I'm gonna set my nozzle to 200. Now, where do you get the information? If you look in the on the on the filament, I should tell you that this is from 200 to 210. You set the temperature. I set the 200, and bet this bet. This bay will not go, that's some bed that goes up to 60 Celsius. This one will not go more than 45. Okay. This one is not glass. This is a different stuff where it makes much easier to remove the project from the bed. So I know this one, it will not go more than 45. I'm going to set it at 45. Okay. 45 Celsius. All right. You see that there, you can check the speed and not do not change anything else. Free head. Okay, 100, that information is there. And we're not gonna do anything there. We're gonna leave it the way it is because we are ready at that point. Look how easy it is. In this low, let's go back to the main. We're gonna do now, we're gonna load from the macro stick car, TF car. And from here, choose. This is, the Kim's already with this, by the way. The dog, the piggy were already there. The dog have to print it, see what it looks like. And that's something else. See, it's software, but that's what you're gonna be installed around your computer. All right, so we're gonna go here and we're gonna press the dog. Press the dog, and that's gonna happen. It's gonna bring the temperature to 200. See, it's gonna set it to 45. Doesn't require more than that. And then here you see the process on percentage and how long it's gonna take to print. Now it's not gonna tell you how long it's gonna take. It's gonna tell you the total the total amount of hours you use. So it's three hours. We'll show you here three hours. Now how do you know how long it's gonna take? Okay, it's pretty simple. When you install the software on your computer, you want to load the model there and you want to save anyways for this, right? Because you can lo and load up models that you just download online. Then it will tell you how long it's going to take for the project. And then it's going to tell you also how many grams it's going to be using. So at least you know, using 20 grams, right? I have a kilo so I can print a lot. And so you know, it will take it three, four hours. See, when it says, when the temperature is set here, right? It's going to move. Then it's going to go back to the metal. It's going to go there. It's going to go to right there in the metal. And what's going to happen? It's going, I'm going to stop it because I need to, I need to actually calibrate this up a little bit. Pause. Stop printing. See, you can pause it if you want. 
And when the temperature is set, it will print it, leave it alone. That's it. The nice thing, I don't need to connect it to the computer or anything. You just leave it there and come back, whatever, three, four hours later. Depends how big the project is. They print it down. That's the only thing you need to do. As you see, that's pretty simple to set up, to get this thing rolling. And the configuration not much. If you see a few buttons printed there, and let it, I know there are more things there, more whistles to play around with that. But if you want to start printing, that's the only thing you need to do. Right? Very important. It has a great price. I can show you it's about $180. The price maybe goes up, it goes down. But to get one of these, to buy one of this right now, guys, I will leave you the link right below this video. Make sure you grab uh, a filament as well, too, because if you saw there, it's not much into it. You know what? You buy one of this right now. You know, leave me a message and let me know the first thing you decide to print. Maybe with the cat, maybe with the dog, the piggy, or the Mandalorian, or something else. Yes, leave me a message right below. Right. I'll see you next time. Bye.